Hey guys, what's up? It is Stu and welcome to a very special video today. Today I am going to teach you how to make a do-it-yourself green screen stand for about $10. So let me give you a little bit of a backstory. I lately have been uh, streaming games on Twitch and I have a green screen and I have a setup, but it's, in, it's incredibly cumbersome and I hate putting it up every time I stream. So I came up with some plans to make a stand for my green screen. It's gonna make it a lot easier to set up and take down. And I wanted to share with you guys the process. First of all, I wanna show you what my current setup is because it's a pain. I'm gonna show you how I set it up and why I hate it. Let's fix you so you're a little higher. There we go. So I have this green screen on a giant PVC pipe. And basically what I do is I take this portrait background thing that I have here, and I set this on top and I unroll it. I'm not gonna do it because it's a pain in the butt. And then I use these handy dandy clips to clip it on the top and it stays there. But it's really wobbly, it's not very strong. And then I gotta undo it, roll it back up and I want a solution that's put together, I just have to put it in place. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so to make the stand that I'm gonna make, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need three, count it, three pieces of one and a half inch PVC. These are 10 foot each. You're also gonna need a two foot piece. It just so happens my Home Depot has pre-cut two feet pieces and one of the pieces I need is gonna be two feet. You're gonna need six of these one half inch T connectors. You're gonna need two of these uh, 90 degree angle connectors. And if you feel like it, you can get four of these little caps to go on the feet. Don't forget, you're also gonna need something to cut your PVC pipe with, something to measure your PVC pipe with, and something to mark your PVC pipe. So let's get a go ahead and start cutting, and then I will share with you the lengths that you're going to need to make this stand. Warning, if you're a kid watching this video, get a parent's help or an adult. These things are sharp and will cut your fingers off. Now, it's probably best if you do this outside, but it's nighttime and it's dark and it's cold and I don't wanna go outside. So we're doing it in my office. So this first piece, I'm gonna cut in half at five feet. Exactly. Measure twice, cut once. All right, so uh, all of the PVC is cut. So let's talk about what you need. For this particular one that I'm building, you're gonna need three pieces that are cut to five foot, four pieces that are cut to three foot, four pieces that are cut to one foot, and two pieces that are cut to six inches. So now let's assemble this bad boy. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is assemble the base. And we're gonna do that with the one foot pieces. So you're gonna take one of your tees and you're just gonna push each one foot length into there, like so. And then, you can put these little caps because these are gonna be kind of like the feet that it's gonna stand on. So you can push those on the ends there, like that. So there's one, you can see it looks like that. And then we're gonna make one more. The nice thing about this is you don't have to be completely exact, and if you mess up a little bit, you're still probably gonna be okay. And it's cheap. I literally bought all these parts for about 10 to $11. Now the PVC cutters and the other materials to make the green screen are not included in price. This is just for the stand, but 10 bucks, pretty good. All right. So we've got the two feet. Now we're gonna build the stand piece. Now you can glue all this. I'm not going to just in case I ever decide I wanna take it apart. 
So this is gonna be technically about five feet wide and about six and a half feet tall. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is take your two six inch pieces and put them in the T-square of the feet, like that. And we'll do that on both of them. Voila. Okay, now what we wanna do is take another T-square, make it so that it's perpendicular, and push it on top of your six inch piece, like that. And we'll do that for the other one. And I just put them on the ground and make sure that they kind of line up together. So you'll have your two pieces like this. Let's move you guys to a better angle. Is that better? Is that better? All right, there we go. Hopefully I don't moon you guys. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our first cross section. So, the way we're gonna do that is take one of these five foot pieces and put it in the T-joint, like that. Or the, yeah, T-joint. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. Push it in. So now we got, we might have to angle it a bit better. We've got our feet. So the next step is to take a three foot piece and we're going to put it in here. Like that. And then one on the other side. Now, one of the things that I've done is I've actually put two support beams in the middle. One at the bottom is so that I can actually clip stuff to it, and then the one in the middle is to give it a little bit more structural strength. I don't know what I'm talking about, I just made that up. All right, so we're gonna need our last two T-joints, and we're gonna put them right here, and one over on the other side. I don't know why I was holding those. We're gonna take another five foot length and put it together like so. Whoa, I just about hit myself in the neck. And I just hit myself in the tooth. Owie! Oh, that right. It's kind of dark down here, isn't it? My lights are up there. Okay, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put these other three foot pieces in the top and it looks like you guys are almost out of frame. So, let's move you guys somewhere better. Stay. Okay, so we've got the first part built. Okay, so now we're gonna take our other two three foot lengths and put them in here. Now you can use stronger PVC if you want to. I used half inch just because it's smaller and it's cheaper and I'm a cheap person. Although switching to like three quarter or one inch isn't gonna, it'll maybe bump the price up by a couple bucks. Once you've got these two pieces, we're gonna use the 90 degree angled ones and put those on the top. Like so. And now, last piece for the top. And there we go. Let's take a quick look at it. So here you can see we have our base with our two feet, middle section, and then the top. So, the next tricky part is gonna be attaching the green screen to this. I am kind of hoping that I don't have to cut my green screen. I'm hoping I can just clamp it and then leave it. So, 
let's see how that goes. One quick note, I'm gonna be using these clips. I bought these at Harbor Freight for a couple dollars and it came with assorted sizes. I may not use these really big ones unless I have to. Um, there's some smaller ones I'm hoping I have enough of. All right, well, there we go. We've got our green screen all set up. Check it out. I ended up using a little, a few more clips. One thing that I noticed is you can see this uh, piece in the middle due to the translucency of the, uh, the green screen. So I'm kind of tempted since I have it folded over to keep the fold on this side to give it a little bit more darkness, but uh, We'll mess around with the lighting. I've got a big light there, a big light there. When I was previously streaming, originally it was just this light, um, but I've since added this one over here and I wanted to do this green screen project. So um, easy, easy, easy solution. If you don't want to spend a lot of money for a, a green screen stand. The nice thing is none of mine's glued so I can literally take the feet off and just push this up against the wall and be set. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I haven't done a video on YouTube for a long time and I felt like it would be a great idea to do a quick DIY while I was in the process of making this myself. So like I said, hope you enjoyed. And if I make another video sometime, I'll see you guys later. Bye.